Well, it is a it is a privilege here today to speak with Marek Kozakevich, the director of Silent Love. Marek, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Um, the film is the film is beautiful. It's a, it's an absolutely uh, touching and warm and and uh, just it's a beautiful piece. I, I was wondering, how did you get involved with the project? Let's start there. I, I, I knew my protagonist for a long time and because my mother comes from a nearby village. So um, uh, uh, so we knew each other and uh, and, uh, and 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 I and, and we were talking about making a, a documentary together. Um, although in the beginning I didn't know anything about uh, Maya, so I, I didn't know that, that the film would end up the way it is. Uh, so I, uh, yes, so the, the moment I started documenting the, 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 the project, my protagonist, was when when the mother of two siblings uh, passed away and they had to deal with uh, uh, with that and uh, and and the, uh, the the sister was 35 back then and her brother milos was uh, 14 and she wa she wanted to take uh, to try to to become the legal guardianship uh, for him and i started to just documenting how a new how a new family is being born and how the two siblings and uh, try to 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 um, to 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 live their new life without the mother, and then during shooting, it occurred that uh, uh, that there is uh, someone more in the story, and and this and this is Maya, the 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 long term um, partner of um, of uh, Agnieszka, the the sister of Milos. And uh, and I didn't know anything about her, and and uh, and and Agnieszka trusted me and and told me for the first time about her, uh, about that relationship that she wasn't talking, that they were hiding, they weren't telling anyone about. So I became the first person they could, uh, Agnieszka could could start talking about it, and. Uh, uh, and 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 of course, right from the beginning, I thought it would be brilliant to to make a film about it. But I also thought it would be impossible, because uh, because how how to show something in the film that they wanted to hide and they were hiding. So so it was a very long process for 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 uh, for us to get the trust and build the relation and and for them to really want to be a part of the film. But at the same time, at some point, it just became obvious that the film cannot be about something else because that was the, the what was what was going on in their lives. It, to see, it, it is fascinating because, like you said, it, it it almost feels that way watching it. It feels like you started making out a piece about one thing, and and it it pulled you. You know, you hear these stories about about people being pulled in another direction once the film starts unfolding. And and actually, I think that's part of the the charm of the film is that you know there you've got two incredible stories happening on at the exact same time, and this other one feels almost unexpected. Um, and working with uh, Ag Ag Agneska, am I pronouncing it right? Agneska and Maya. Uh, what were those conversations like? Because again, yes, this is their relationship was hidden, uh, hidden secret. And and here we're inviting them to 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 share it with the world, put it and make public document of it. What were those conversations like? Yeah, they were. It was a it was a long process. The shooting of the film and and the editing lasted five years. So so in the if, if uh, so throughout the whole film, they started making their first coming outs and they started. Uh, Talking, uh, telling about their relationship to their families, and uh, and open up to them about it. We also uh, and and uh, my, my my the first screening was for their families to show them to to get their acceptance, of course. And uh, and I always said that whatever whatever we should, if you will not want it to be in the film, you will just delete it from the film. It won't be there. So they had this feeling of uh, feeling safe that if they will not want anything in the film that we would just it would just not be there and actually even if they wouldn't want the film the film wouldn't be there as well so so the, they knew it's their decision not mine uh, and 
but they also it was a, it was a process for them to emancipate so they would gain more and more strength and more and more uh, uh, feeling uh, um, proud of, of who they are and their relationship and and and, and, uh, and and also i mean before we were uh, premiering they were really ready for it and they were wanting it and they were waiting for it and also the amount of um, good energy that they got from all the polish uh, because they took part in all of the polish premieres and screenings and panels and they would also give some very honest uh, interviews to 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 polish uh, media about their relationship about the family they were building and it uh, it uh, we of course we were afraid of how that would affect them but what uh, it, it uh, what happened was that I mean it for them personally and for them as a family it only strengthened them, and, and also they got a total acceptance from their families. Uh, so, so they got they, they got this, uh, yeah, and and they are talking about uh, they are very honest now in the family. So they have a structure that, that supports them. Uh, but in the village, although the the, the I mean the villagers they, they knew they knew they were a couple. And they, they 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 know about it, but they do not confront them with it. And also, they Agnieszka and Maya they also don't show any affection, or or they don't talk about their relationship in the village. So the status quo is in a way the same as it was before the film. Nothing really changed in the village. But the villagers are good for them in a way that there's no there hasn't been any aggression towards them or nothing they, 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 uh, Maya works in the same village in a in a, in a, in a farming company and, and and they and she's accepted there as well and, and the, so they are accepted there and sometimes can also be uh, as it is with my protagonist, that they, in a way, they are accepted. Oh, At least as long as they don't talk about it. We, of course, we don't know what would happen if they started showing affection to each other um, publicly in the village. Uh, no, uh, actually, that that is, uh, hearing what you're saying there, that's incredible because it, from from what I understand you're saying, the village has no issue uh, but like you said, maybe it would change if things if they were more out, outspoken. But but certainly the the people that know them best seem to support them. But they live in a very uh, difficult and and oppressive uh, uh, a time. And and I I don't know if nation is the right word. I don't know if it's all of Poland. But I, I guess my question is: Has there been a movement? Has there been advancement in the time from the beginning of this of of this project to to its completion has anything changed I mean, the political situation is, is still difficult the right-wing uh, party is, is it's ruling poland and they make uh, lgbt people their enemies to gain votes and uh, i mean the villagers i don't i wouldn't say they are supporting uh, aga and maya but they are not disturbing them in in that case and in that way they are supporting in not disturbing them but uh, yeah, the, the the political situation in Poland is difficult, and uh, uh, and uh, and it's 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 not becoming better. So we hope that maybe in the uh, in in one year there will be new elections. Maybe maybe something will will change. But so far, the, it's it's it's. Uh, it's, it's becoming more and more right wing than more and more conservative and uh, and and the worst thing is that they, they have uh, made the public tv their their political tube and they and they um, the things they tell about uh, lgbt people is uh, uh, is is horrifying and it's it's it's, it's, uh, it's can really make them not wanting to live in Poland, or, or, or so everyone give, when they see our our, my, our film in, in Poland, everyone asks why wouldn't they just move mm. to, to to Germany? Well, why do they stay in, in Poland? And uh, the the answer is that that Milos he didn't want to move. 
you know, uh, he was uh, he he and also the psychologist suggested for Milos to stay in the village to to uh, not to change the his whole surrounding after the death of the mother. Yeah. Well, so they stay there, but actually they are doing quite well there, and they and they like it, and they don't want to move from there now. Uh, Agnieszka mm -hmm. and Maya, they, 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 they want to stay there. Milos now is 19 after five years of shooting, so he, now he is uh, wanting to move uh, abroad in a way. But uh, Agnieszka and Maya, they, in a way, they um, they found their place there and they feel comfortable there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, well, you know, speaking of, of Milos, um, the, it's funny because the film, as we said, begins uh, with his journey uh, with Agnieszka. Um, and, and I mean, the goat continues throughout the entire film. It opens and closes with, with that journey. But I, I was just wondering, from your perspective, and I mean, you're not, you're not him, but what did you notice most about his, uh, his journey? Because, I mean, he's dealing with a lot of things here. There, there's a lot of things. There's the grief of the loss of his mother um the the challenges of his sister you know the pub, wrestling with it even you, you see the conversation with he's talking with his friends saying oh well you know so has your your sister gotten married yet no no you know there's there's sort of this for, what did you notice most about him uh throughout this process i mean one thing is that he was really missing the father figure uh, because his father died before he was born, mm. so he would really miss the father figure, and 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 Maya became that for him. Mm. Uh, so now he really wants to wear the same clothes, and Maya has the same hair style, have the same car, bike, everything as she has, uh, and. And, and in a way, also, I became a father figure for him because I, I mean, really, I'm, it's like a new family. I, I mean, right from the beginning of the moment when the family was starting to, to build and them being together, it was like me being a part of them as well. And they accepted me and they took me to their family. So, so I would also, so I have a strong relationship with Milos. And whenever something happens, he always calls me, tells me even, uh, Things he doesn't want to tell to Agnieszka and Maya. He, 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 he somehow feels he can he can tell me, and and uh, so he went through a lot. Uh, he he's he he really Agnieszka is the closest person he has and he had uh, in a way after mother, and so he uh, so the fact that she. Uh, decided to stay there with him was for him i think was the best thing that could happen because it was his closest the closest person he had uh, and maya joining uh, from my point of view gave him a lot uh, gave him the second in a way leg like aga is one leg and then maya is the second leg mm -hmm. and and agnieszka has a bit different uh, way of um, raising him in a way uh, more strict and, and 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 Maya treats him more uh, in a partner way, uh, and uh, and of course it is also, I mean it, it's also challenges for him. It's not only I mean it's 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 also uh, in a way a kind of a burden that he that he got on his back because um, because he in a way also has to be a he's he became a part of of. Uh, LGBT family in, uh, and in a way he didn't choose it so he uh, and and I mean it's not a burden it's something beautiful uh, but in the, for other people in this uh, village it, it, I mean it is something that might make him some stuff more difficult in the village so of course it's, it's I mean it's it's uh, there are moments that it is challenging for him, and uh, but they keep very close to each other, and and oh. and, and he's doing really well. He uh, he started working now. He he passed his driving license exam. He has his own car now, so he's he can because it's a small village. So whenever you want to drive somewhere, you need to have a car. So he has his own car now. So he's 
he's um, he can he's more um, he can do whatever he wants in a way now and, and it's easy for him to find a job outside the village as well because he can drive easily uh, and he's doing he's doing really well the whole family is doing really well so so it's um so it's really relieving and the whole at least so far i mean the film is already almost a year after premiere or like half a year more than half a year and 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 still the whole everything that's happening around the film so far is really making uh, them stronger and making them feeling um, um more better about themselves so, so there hasn't been any situations that the film would um, uh, somehow them in a, in, a, in, a, in a difficult situation so far let's hope it will uh, stay like that you know it, you you mentioned something there that you know we i think we all we often forget when we're sitting in a theater or watching some watching a film on on roll is that the amount of time you've spent with this family you know we you when we're handed a documentary we don't often think of the fact of the times when the camera is not rolling because every documentary filmmaker generally wants to stay off camera, but you are with these, you're with the three of them, you're spending time with them, you're building relationships. And I'm just listening to the way that, that uh, you've connected with Milos uh, is, is incredible. That's, that's amazing. With, with that being said, with that in mind, this is a film that talks about the nature of family. And I'm just wondering from your perspective, if you think the word the meaning of the word family has changed or have we just been missing it or is it is it all or is it the same as it's always been i think it's the basic structure of, of a social socializing in every person's life and in that way what we get out of family is we go with it throughout the whole life so in a way it is the most uh, important element that can either like in a way uh, i mean put some weight on us that we will have to learn how to lose and how to deal with or that can help us and give us uh, some tools on how to how to cope in a world that generally is not uh, so warm and so and um, can be a hard place to to, to live so uh, so, so for family, uh, I mean, it's, it's, the, it's, 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 um, whether it has, it has it changed the, the meaning of family. Mm. For me, the family is love in a way. If there's love in the family, everything else will work well. The true love, I mean, not toxic love, not uh, then it will work fine. Uh, but so, so, and, and that's what also like really made me fall in love in, and, and that's why I, I put so much effort and so much time in, and I want, really wanted to be a part of the family as well because I really felt there's so much love in the relation between Milos and Aga. It was the first thing that struck, struck me so strongly that they're like. Uh, I, I remember the first time I went there with my camera. I, I would go there, and, and 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 I didn't really know what the film would be about. Of of course, that I, I knew it would be about uh, dealing with death and, and trying to, to cope with the loss of the mother. But actually, what I found there the first day I came there with the camera was that they were making a cake, and there was so much love in it, and they would laugh, although it was so close to the death of the mother and they would do it. and there was so much that the, their relationship was so beautiful and incredible that i in a way it it, it it made me really want to be a part of it and really feel that it is uh, something that uh, is uh, needs to be shown uh, yeah yeah that that comes across on screen well even the title of the film is silent love um but that's so embedded in the environment that you you've seen from, and even with uh, Agnieszka, Agnieszka has you know it's not easy for them all the time. Uh, certainly not even just because of the court case, but you could just see the challenges uh, for her and her relationship with 
with a teenage a teenage brother slash son um that right before us it's but the love she has for him is is incredible and for maya um you know the film like i said is a beautiful piece but but what do you hope that audiences take away what they take from the film take away from the film yes yeah i think the warmth of it in a way i i mean it, it because i really didn't want to make a drama i mean of course the drama and the tension is there in every scene it's there beneath everything because because of the situation that has that, 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 that does have this tension but it is full of warmth it is full of love at the same time and there is a lot of humor as well and uh, i think what uh, for me, how I saw it, and it also occurred that it was also very important for my protagonist, as they uh, as they found it, was that it's it's it's, it's not just a drama. It's a, it's a, it has a lot of warmth. It's, it has a lot of feel good emotions in it, and it it shows that no matter uh, what the situation is, I mean, if you have this. Uh, uh, this, uh, I mean, if there is, the, if the love is there, every moment in a way is beautiful and can be beautiful and uh, important, no matter how difficult it is. And uh, and I would love the film to be like a like a like a warm coat that you put on and you feel better after watching the film in a way. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Um... Merrick, I really appreciate your time and uh, certainly the story that you were able to share with us uh, as well. Thank you so much. Wish you the best of the festival uh, and with the film. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.